Hey YouTube, this is Donnie Smith and we're back with another Eastwood video series. And this is the video series we're working on Mustang. Uh, we're changing the color on it. We're going from start to finish and we're showing you all the steps that we took to complete this car. Now we have finally, finally got this car in the booth. I know it's taken a long time but it is in the booth and we're going to start masking it and getting it ready to paint. And in this video, we're going to show you the steps we took to mask this car. Now we all know that masking takes up a lot of time. I mean it's very time consuming, very important. You do want to do a good mask job, but it does take a lot of time. So we sped this up a little bit. You know, I'm wanting to show you all the steps that we took and but I don't want to just to drag this on for forever. So I did speed it up a little bit. So it may look a little bit choppy, but uh let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we got the car in the booth and we already washed it, of course, you know, with soap and water, make sure it's good and clean. You always want to do that. Uh, I know I stressed that in the videos, but you do want, and this one's going to be black and that even shows every little bit, you know, piece of dirt. So make sure that you, you make sure, uh, clean it really good, wash it with soap and water and pull it in the booth. Uh, now what we're doing is we're wiping it down with some wax and grease remover and that's just to help, you know, remove any more contaminants that it may have but really what's real important right now all of your edges where you're going to be back masking or doing any type of masking in the jams and and areas like that you want to make sure that they are super clean and especially that wheel well wheel well flange there i mean that gets so dirty so when you're washing it make sure you try to wash that really good and then with wax and grease remover because if you don't the tape's not going to stick well and when the air pressure hits it with a spray gun, you know, it blows the tape off and, and then you're going to have a messy job. And you don't want overspray up in your uh, wheel well area or in your trunk or in your jam or anything like that. So uh, it's, it really is important to, to clean the, the edges that the tape is going to stick to real, real good. And they're just going around cleaning it. And uh, again, you know, you can't clean a, a car enough you know and that's where a really good paint job starts you know if you don't wash it good you don't prep it right you know it really doesn't matter how well you spray so okay now we are starting to do some of the masking and this is a back mask uh, technique where i'm kind of putting the tape on the back side of these flanges and going around the wheel well area uh, we'll be going around the side glass anywhere i can back mask that's probably what i do because it, it provides a really nice uh uh, clean job when you unmask it. Uh, another thing is like on that trunk, they're they're uh, masking the back sides of those holes. Um, you want to be sure and do that, and and it's a lot easier to do before you get it all the jam to all that masked off and shut it. You know, if you can get to the back side of it, it's probably going to be a lot easier than trying to mask it afterwards. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind. You know, before you start shutting these doors, you know, because once they're shut and masked off, like the jams, if you open them, sometimes that's going to mess your your masking job up. So you can't really open and shut them. So getting all those holes masked off in the trunk, and then uh, they will mask the trunk off. You know, the jam, and then they will, you know shut it. And now we're going to do the jam on this door. Uh, this door edge jam and what I'm using here now this is some transition tape the 3 ohm makes it it's just a, a thin clear tape that has an adhesive in the center and it makes a very soft line I mean it works really good I mean it's the, the lines you know it's almost invisible and it works real real good and after you put that on uh, you're gonna have still still need to do something to keep paint from getting it inside the jam that's just for the edge you know that real soft edge and you can use foam tape like I'm using here. You could mask uh, back from that with masking tape and paper. Uh, that would work well too. Also in another video, there's some new uh, new product out there called tube, ta tube tape. And, you know, that seemed to work well too. But you can use just the, this foam tape around these edges and not use that transition tape. But it doesn't do quite, you know, clean of a, as clean of a job. Uh, it's a little bit more noticeable in your edges. And, you know, we just painted all these jams. So, you know, the last thing we want is to have a real hard edge or some overspray to get inside there and make it look like, you know, make it look bad. Now, these front edges, they're usually a little bit harder because it's kind of hard to get in there. And what we'll usually do is open the front door and tape that to the inside of that fender. And that's going to push that tape out. So we'll have to get something... Uh, you know, like a credit card or something thin that you can kind of push that foam tape in there. I'm using some keys here. 
uh, you'd want to be careful not to scratch it with the with the key but I, you want to get that pushed in there or else that's going to leave a noticeable edge you know where the paint wasn't applied because that foam tape was sticking outside the edge of it so all right now we're just continuing uh, some back masking around the window and getting that done just going around the car you know we've got several of us in here working at one time just getting this uh getting it done and usually that's what I will do. I'll, I'll do the, you know, you, you want to do the holes, you know, like uh, I think in this video we're, we, we forgot to do this lock cylinder for some reason. Uh, it'd be easier to do that before than try to do it from the outside. I don't, I can't remember why we did this one from the outside. It can be done, but that's what we're doing here. Is uh, you can just kind of stick it in there and tape to the inside edge of that hole and then push it in. You know, that's another way. Uh, I don't know if we cannot get to that. I can't remember why, why, why I'm doing it this way. Another thing for those small holes, something you can think about, those foam ear plugs, those work well. You know, you squeeze them together, stick them in those small holes, and that will seal it up real nice, you know, because they expand and they'll kind of fill in the hole. And we're getting that vent area in the back masked off. Uh, again, you want to make sure all that's masked off because you don't want overspray on the inside of the car. Uh, you want to make sure you get all that, that masked off. Again, you know, this is, it takes a lot of time. You know, masking takes, it's not a quick process, but if you want a nice clean job, you, you know, you need to mask it properly. Okay, we got it masked off, and now what we're doing is I'm working on the windshield molding, you know, because it sets right up against the paint. So we're using a special masking product there. It's a piece of plastic that has adhesive on it, and you stick it up under the molding, and then take a, you peel it off where it sticks, you can kind of fold it back on itself, and you peel it off, and it'll actually lift that edge of the molding up. And what that does a couple things, it allows the paint to get up under the edge, but it also prevents bridging. That's where the the clear coat, you know, or in, any of the coatings, especially the clear coat, it'll kind of make a bridge from the masking tape to the roof or whatever adjacent panel you're working on, and it kind of fills that gap in. And that is a problem because when you go to unmask it, you know, it may not tear real even. It, you might pull a chunk of clear off. So it's best to try to to prevent that. And you can see right here we're working on this corner. Uh, sometimes with this tape you're going to have to cut some slits in it so you can kind of bend it around the corners. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it works well, but it can be a little difficult, you know, especially like getting around these corners and things. Takes a little time, but like I said, the end result, you know, is what matters. And that bridging, you know, that's something that you just absolutely don't want. And, you know, if, if you're doing a restoration and you have the windshield and all that out, you know, that's even better than you can mask the inside of the flange like we did a lot of the other places. But, um, you know, we, we didn't do that with this pro uh, project. We didn't take the, the windshield out. So we're just finishing getting it masked off. We outlined everything, did the jams, came back and filled in the, the areas that we don't want painted with paper so the paint don't get it get on it and you want to go around make sure everything's sealed up that there's no gaps that you missed uh, where paint could get through you know you want, you want to kind of make sure that that's all tight and and not going to get overspray on areas you don't want And we've got a lot of stuff on that roof, masking products. Probably shouldn't have all that on there, but we are going to clean this again. And again, you know, it seems like you do the same thing over and over, which you do. But, I mean, if you want a nice, clean job, you're, you know, you're going to have to wipe it down a couple of times. So, yeah, this is this footage I've had for a while just now getting time to edit it and, and get it posted for you uh, this job has been done for a long time we just uh, I'm running behind you know on the editing part okay we have got it all masked off we went around made sure everything looked good 
clean the booth, you know, clean off everything off the floor of the car, wiping it down, and notice they have gloves on because from this point forward, you do not want to touch the car. Your hands can contaminate you know can contaminate the surface so we're going to wipe it down again we're going to tack it and now this car will be ready for some base coat well we're going to seal it base coat it and clear coat it so finally going to get to those stages as always thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule to, to watch these videos i hope it was helpful hope you learned something if you like the video be sure and give us a thumbs up give us a like and uh, be sure and share this with your friends. Subscribe to us if you have not subscribed to us. If you have any questions or comments, be sure and just go down below this video in the comment section. Leave us a comment, ask a question, and uh, I'll do my best to get back to you on that. Sometimes I run a little bit slow, you know, on a response, but I will, I do read them and I will try to get back to you. Well, have a great day or night. You know, I don't know what time you're watching, but uh, enjoy your day. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.